Welcome back to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. For our second book during Black History Month, we'll be learning about Gordon Parks. Gordon Parks is most famous for being the first Black director in Hollywood. But before he made movies and wrote books, he was a poor African American looking for work. When he bought a camera, his life changed forever. This is his story. Gordon Parks, How the Photographer Captured Black and White America, written by Carol Boston Weatherford, illustrated by Jamie Kristoff. The youngest of 15, Parks arrived stillborn and is nearly left for dead until a dip in ice water shocks his tiny heart to beat. The baby is named for the man who saved his life, Dr. Gordon. When young Gordon crosses the prairie on horseback, nothing seems beyond reach. But his white teacher tells her all-black class, you'll all wind up porters and waiters. What did she know? After Gordon loses his mother at age 14, he moves in with his sister in Minneapolis. Soon on his own, Gordon works odd jobs, busboy, piano player, and finally, porter and waiter. 25 years old and all but broke when a magazine spread about migrant farm workers inspires him to buy a used camera. That $7.50 is the best money he will ever spend. In one month, he teaches himself enough for an exhibit at a camera store. Soon, he is shooting fashion and portraits, and one model tells him to take his camera to the big city. In Chicago, Gordon's shots of struggling families on the South Side win him a chance to be a government photographer. He leaves the Midwest and turns his camera on Washington. Gordon wonders, what should I shoot? Search for a subject, says his boss. In the nation's capital, he passes the White House and the Supreme Court. In the shadow of the Capitol, he sees black families living in alley dwellings. He can see that blacks have it harder than whites. He passes statues, monuments, and memorials to mighty heroes. But there are enough good photos of white men carved in marble and granite. He glimpses whites-only signs in shop windows and learns firsthand that even if there is no sign, it doesn't mean that a black man will be served. Boiling mad, Parks vows to lay bare racism with his lens. He shares his vision with his boss, who points him toward his subject. Talk to her. She knows struggle. She is Ella Watson, a cleaning lady in the building where Parks works. She supports five children on just over $1,000 a year. The photographer follows her for weeks, home, church, and to work at four in the morning. After a long day, she studies the Bible with her family. Gordon takes pictures of her grandchildren, too. Dressing, eating, reading, playing, not yet knowing the racism that they will surely face. Over his long career, Gordon's photos will run in Vogue and Life magazines, their first black photographer. He will write novels, make movies, compose music and poetry, and be hailed a Renaissance man. 
but Gordon's most famous shot will be American Gothic. In the newspaper, the photo exposed to the nation the unfairness of segregation. Standing before the flag of freedom, cleaning lady Ella Watson holds the tools of her trade and the hopes of her grandchildren. She knows all too well that the opportunities the flag symbolizes are denied her because of skin color. Yet, she dares to dream of and strive for better. Through Gordon's lens, her struggle gained a voice. You don't have to hear her story to know her prayer. I hope this story has inspired you to learn more about Gordon Parks or another African American who has contributed to the making of our United States. This is Mrs. Patricia. Until next time, keep reading.